Hey guys! Hi everyone! Welcome to our channel, Rip Ride Vlog It! And today we're going to make some festive cocktails! Okay, so first drink we're going to make today is a strawberry and amaretto mulled wine. Uh, this is one of your favourites from the Christmas markets, isn't it? Yeah, so a twist on your classic mulled wine, my favourite flavour. Yeah, one of the uh, risks we're taking today is it wanted to use fresh strawberries and mullet for around three or four hours. But we're taking a risk and going for ice cream topping, strawberry syrup here. Um, we really don't know how this is going to turn no, out, we'll but see. yeah, we'll see how it, <laughs> you'll find out too. We'll see how it goes. We might inadvertently come up with a hack. So yeah, let's get started. First thing we're going to do is add our whole bottle of wine. Um, I'm using a Cabernet Sauvignon, not like you can see the label. So we'll pour all this in here into our pan. Next up, we're going to add two cinnamon sticks. Along with the cinnamon sticks, we're going to add what has to be my favourite looking kind of spice, star anise. This is aniseed, basically. It smells so nice. It smells amazing. And now we're going to add some cloves. Is it like about eight? Do I have to count these? Just, I mean, <laughs> it says eight. I'm sure it's fine if you do seven or nine. Okay, next up, we're going to add some sliced oranges. Now, on the recipe, it did say if you want a less bitter taste, you should peel the orange, but we've never seen more wine made in such a way, so we're just going to keep the orange peel on for now. And then we're going to add four tablespoons of honey. Now for the customization. So, we're going to pour in some amaretto, but because we're not following a recipe with this particular bit, I don't know how much to pour in. Should we just... Put like up to about here or something. By the way, we're using uh, Bellucci Superiore which is another way of saying Aldi's fine. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pour this for a bit, see what happens. <laughs> look, look, look. A bit more. A little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> it looks fine. <laughs> I put it down to there, so. Uh, and finally, for our I little- I am nervous. A little life hack, we're going to add just a small squeeze of this for now, I reckon. Yeah. And then we'll add more as it kind of goes along. Yeah. Hopefully it dissolves. I'm not nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, you do it, I'm nervous. Oh gosh. Well that's sunk straight to the bottom. I'll have to stir it. I think it might be okay, it is quite syrupy. Okay, so we're gonna set this on the hob. The idea is you want to get it to simmer, but you don't want any bulls to start popping up from the bottom because that means the alcohol is disappearing. And you don't want that. So yeah, we're gonna set this off for now, and whilst it's preparing, we will make our other four cocktails. Okay, so the next drink we're gonna make is the snowball, a bit of a Christmas classic. So you need amphora, lemonade, lime. We like to garnish ours. We're the matchmaker. <laughs> yeah, so the recipe does call for ice, but we don't like ours with ice at I've all. I've never had it with ice. Yeah, so... never, never heard that before. Let us know if the snowball should be served with ice or not, because. I don't think it should. Okay, so it says equal parts advoca to lemonade. So, let's start pouring it. Trusty shot glasses here. Also, let us know in the comments down below what your Christmas morning traditions are. Um, you personally like a Bucks Fizz, don't you? And, and a I, bacon butty. Yeah, and I like drinking a Bailey's coffee. I'm going off script. <laughs> all right, ready more lemonade. This is some Africa with some lemonade and some lime. You can be technical with it if you want, but I've never measured it out before. Why not try more than one at home and set the recipe yourself? <laughs> you want to squeeze some lime? Yeah. Honestly, you might have never seen this before, but these work. These are a match made in heaven, <laughs> eh? Hey. And there we have it, the snowball. The next drink that we're going to make is called the Santa Plasmopolitan. Uh, so what we're going to need for this is we're going to need cranberry juice, triple sec, vodka, cranberries, and lime juice, and also white sand and sugar. We'll leave a link down below on how to make sand and sugar. It's pretty simple, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Alright, 
So first we're going to fill our cocktail shaker. We've still got our spooky one from Asda. We're going to fill this with ice. I'm going to do this in parts depending on how much you need. Um, you might need to adjust the milliliters of what you use. So I'm going to use half part triple sec, two parts vodka and three parts of cranberry juice for this. Um, and then a squeeze of lime at the end as well. So, two shots of vodka, three parts cranberry juice. Juice of one line in here. Do, 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 do. Has anyone else got that Gary Barlow or something stuck in there? <laughs> Absolutely unforgettable. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use the lime from before. Just gonna what'd you say? Lime the rim. Lime it <laughs> <laughs> around the edge. And then just gonna put it into the sanding sugar. So then it just looks something like this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to give the content of our cocktail shaker a bit of a mix. <laughs> and our old pal Steve the bartender. Oh, absolutely. Alright, so now the contents are nicely shaken. Pour into the glass. And then, just for garnish as well, we're just going to add, purely optional this bit, but we're just going to add some cranberries. And there you have it. That is the Santa Claus Mopolitan. So the next drink we're going to make is called the Christmas Martini. So we need Bailey's. We've got Bally Castle on this occasion, which is Aldi's version. Very nice. We need whole milk, amaretto. Uh, it is vanilla vodka, but we've just got standard vodka and vanilla extract. And then we're going to have a sugar rim as well. Yeah, so we've used a combination of red, green and the white sanded sugar that we had from before. Hopefully it should give it a bit of a festive vibe. Okay, so I will do the honors with the... All right, so there we have our festive lined top. That's not what you call it, but that's what I'm going with. Okay, so we're gonna start by adding one part of whole milk. It's gonna be a very creamy drink. And then it's going to be a half part of all the alcohol, so half part Bailey's, half part Amaretto, half part vodka with the vanilla. <laughs> Bit boozier, <laughs> it's fine. Can't see the numbers. Just keep pouring, just keep pouring. Yeah, if you are using regular vodka with vanilla extract, we're going to use the smallest amount of vanilla extract possible. Okay, I think that's all the ingredients. It is. So then we just need to shake, shake, shake. Into our very festive lined drink. We shall pour. Oh my god. This looks so creamy. That's really indulgent. And there we have it, the Christmas martini. Alright, so just before we check on our mulled wine, we're going to do one final drink. Really excited about this one. It is the apple pie. On the rocks. On the rocks. So yeah, we're going to start like with the other ones, we're going to just lime the edge of the glass and this time we're going to use brown sugar. Ah. <laughs> um, I'll hold, I'll hold the ice. Stop it, you can't. I will, I'll hold the ice. I'll, I'll hold it, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Things we do. Yeah. All right. Thank you, brown sugar. Okay, so for the actual drink itself, we're going to use vanilla vodka, which again, we will substitute for vodka and vanilla extract. We're going to use fireball whiskey, um, any kind of cinnamon spice whiskey is fine. And then finally, we're just going to use apple juice and some pinch of ground cinnamon as well. So we're going to use half a shot of vodka, which I may over pour accidentally. 
and vanilla extract, which I've just forgotten. I'm just going to add it. Straight to the end. Straight to the bottom. There we go. Straight to the bottom. Straight to the bottom. Right, and we're going to use half a shot of Fireball Whiskey. Okay, maybe that is slightly too much. <laughs> <laughs> Pouring it back in the bowl, come on. And finally, we're going to do two shots of apple juice. I'm really excited to try this one. So with all the ingredients that are going in it, things like cinnamon, well, cinnamon basically, um, I actually do feel like it's going to taste really close to an apple pie. Um, yeah, and then finally we're just going to add a pinch of ground cinnamon. Might be way too much. Who knows? And then, yeah, give it a shake. Apparently, you only shake it ten times. Oh, that was more than ten times, I've just realised. <laughs> yeah, I shook it twelve times there, ladies and gentlemen. And yeah, strain over the rocks. And there you have the apple pie on the rocks. So now our mulled wine has finished mulling? Yeah, Streaming? after <laughs> after a fail of actually getting it from the pan into here, um, we've just spent about 10 minutes cleaning. Um, yeah, we're ready to pour. So I got some orange slices in. Gonna pour in our mulled wine. This looks amazing. And then I'm gonna top with. Just let you know, here's what we've got here. It's full wine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna top with the star anise and the cinnamon stick. And that's our homemade mulled wine. So now we've got our five drinks in front of us, it would be rude not to taste test them, don't you think? I do. So, which one do you want to start with? We'll start with the snowball. Nice. Okay, after you. Thank you. Mm. Tasty as always. Yeah, you know what you get with the snowball. Mm. Matchmaker got me too. Oh, it's so delicious. I'm not sure about the 50-50 that the uh, recipe recommended. This is this is all all the avocado you need, obviously. Yeah. Okay, I'll pick the next one I think, and I will go with the apple pie. Yeah, I've got to go for the apple pie. Sensational. Alright, so just as a reminder, here's our apple pie drink here, and the brown sugar rim should make it very delicious. Really good. Oh my god. We're going to be making them all night. <laughs> it's, like an apple, it's like an apple pie. It's really it good. Really nice. It's really good. Brown sugar. <laughs> Brown sugar really does add something to it. That's a really nice one. Yeah, it's just like got like so much cinnamon in it because of the um, well, we had a ground cinnamon and five whole whiskey mm. as well, didn't we? That's um, really nice. It's gonna be hard to beat that. I'm gonna go next for the Christmas martini. This was the very, very what was it, like milky, creamy, creamy one. So this has got Bailey's and whole milk in it, so... It tastes, it tastes like my ever so slightly sweetened milk. <laughs> it's like, no, no, but in a really good way. <laughs> no, in a really good way, like in the kind of way which is like, you could quite easily have 10 of them. Uh, and and you it's kind of like, it's just really it. dangerous to have them, yeah. Um, kind of like Bailey's himself, actually. That's pretty good. Um, okay, I will go with our mulled wine, I think. So, the cinnamon stick has sadly sunk to uh, the bottom, but it still looks really good. Um, let's give it a go. It's awesome. What? Not much strawberry coming through. Oh, I like that. Oh, it's really good. Um, I don't even mind about the strawberry. I don't know how much I can taste it now. In fact, I can taste it at the back of my throat. Can you? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it's just because I've had Try all again. the other drinks or because I've got a... The amaretto was always the main thing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we just poured that for a very long time. <laughs> Let's 
suppose there's a tiny bit coming through. Yeah, um, we squeezed another load of strawberry midway through. So if you're going to use our uh, hack, um, squeeze in lots of strawberry syrup. And then finally, last but not least, we will try the Santa Clausmopolitan. That might be my favourite. Really? <laughs> it's really nice, but I love the Cosmo. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just the triple set comes through ever so slightly and it tastes kind of like orange bitters, but with the cranberry as well, it's just so nice. Um, yeah, that's a perfectly balanced drink. I would have that any time of year. So, which one's your favourite? I'd say it's between the Clausmopolitan and the Apple Pie. Yeah, I'm feeling the same as well. But to get off the fence, because it's so close to its namesake, I'm going to say the Apple Pie on the rocks is my favourite. Okay, I'll say Clausmopolitan then. They're all delicious. Yeah, <laughs> That's the thing, like. Yeah, really happy with all, how all these turned out this time. Yeah, we did do a Halloween cocktails vlog earlier on in the year around Halloween. Um, as you might have thought. Yeah. Uh, we'll link that up here and down here as well. Um, but we used a lot of food colour in them, didn't we? Yeah, if, if we did that again, which we might next year, less food colour in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm uh, really happy with how these turned out. For the rest of the evening, we'll probably drink these now. Yeah, and uh, with that being said, if you've liked watching us get sloshed on Christmas cocktails, please do feel free to give us a big thumbs up. And do subscribe for our future videos as well. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Bye.